Good morning, Tiger Nation. We're having a great week here at Corsican High School. Now, let's go to Devin as she talks with Sam Gilfillan and Ike Hargrave about last week's game. This is Tiger Sports Center. I am Becca Cook here with Ike Hargrave and Sam Gilfillan. How did it feel to be the starting quarterback for senior night? It felt good. Uh, our whole team has been working hard the past couple weeks, and I've been working hard, and it felt good for it to finally pay off. Ike, you had an amazing night with lots of passes. Did you do anything to prepare? Uh, well, we practiced very hard, and uh, we watched a lot of films. So. How did it feel to throw a 64-yard touchdown pass to Trevor Dimbo, your cousin? It felt good. We've been playing together since we were little, and it felt good to connect with him on the varsity level. Do you all have a game plan for number four ranked Lancaster this week? Um, it's really not any different from our game plan any other week. Uh, we're going to go in, play 100%, and uh, hopefully get a win. Thank you. That is all from Tiger Sports Center. Hello, we're here with the star quarterback of the Corsicana High School football team, Keyshawn Kelly. So, Keyshawn, everyone wants to know, what was it like watching last week's game from a different perspective? Uh, it was it was, it was was hard. It was a learning experience. I, uh, I was just on the sideline encouraging my teammates just like I always do. I just wasn't on the field, but it was hard, but I, I got through it, and this week is going to be gonna be a good one. Okay. Who do y'all play this week? Uh, this week we play Lancaster. This is going to be a good game. It's going to be, gonna be, should be a live one. should be a packed one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so what do you think y'all's, y'all's biggest challenge is? Uh, for the offense, it's probably – uh, our line probably have to fire up the ball a little bit, a little bit harder this week, cause it's gonna it's gonna be a challenge for us. But once we get past their front seven, it's gonna be we're gonna take it to the house. Okay, well there you have it. Hello, we are here with the safety of the Course Canyon Tigers football team, number four, Jarek Lusk. So Jarek, how do you think y'all did this Friday? Man, I think we did real good. We had fought all four quarters, man. It's just. Hey, they put up more points than us, but we're going to come back even harder this week. We're not going to let that stop us. Okay. So what do you think y'all need to improve on? Uh, on the defensive side, we just need to stop missing tackles because that's what hurt us this week. We missed a lot of tackles, and we had them down, and we gave up big plays. That's what we need to stop, the big plays. Okay. Um, what do you think your strengths were? Like, Everybody hustled to the ball and eventually got the ball carried down. Okay. And your weaknesses? Like I said, we didn't wrap up. We had to do better in tackling. Okay. Well, there you have it. Jerry Gluss, safety of the football team. See ya. Tiger Tennis starts their district this week as they travel to Jacksonville. We just want to wish them good luck in their upcoming district season. And now, let's go meet our new girls soccer coach, Coach Lofman. This is H100 Studios, and I am Emily Flores, and I'll be in the ring, Coach Lofman. Um, how do you feel about coaching the girls soccer? I'm uh, very excited. I uh, used to coach against them when I was at Red Oak, and um, always uh, a very hardworking team, a very positive team. Uh, and uh, again, certainly a very talented team as well. So excited about what we're going to do this year. What are some things you would want? Do you you expect from the girls? Uh, like I said, they're very hardworking. Um, they're not going to get outworked by anybody that we're going to play this year. Uh, they're going to always show up with positive attitudes. Uh, they're very encouraging with one another. And so, whenever you're you're enjoying one another, working hard, it's always a good environment. I expect a lot from them. What is something you want to do different for this school year? Uh, one thing that I'd like to do with them uh, that maybe they hadn't done in the past is do like a summer tournament. Um, have them uh, stick together during the summer. Sometimes they go their own ways. You don't see each other for several months. Uh, but it's good to stay together, work together as a team, even in the off season. And uh, hopefully we can get a tournament together this summer and uh, get some time working out before we go into the next school year. How are you going to get the girls ready for this season? I said a big part of it is just their attitude is already very good. Um, and so for me, uh, that's, that's a big part of it. They're coming out, they're working hard. Uh, and so then if we can work some tactical skills in there with that hard work ethic, uh, it's going to be very good for us. Okay. Um, what, do you, um, what do you, how far do you look at the team like? 
What's something good about them that you've seen? Uh, they, they work together well. Um, they're, they're a very encouraging group, uh, always hustling each other around, making sure that everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, they get in and out of the locker room very fast. They're on the field, ready to go. Uh, for a coach, that's the most important thing. Their attitudes are a big part of it. And like I said, with that, added to some tactical skills, they're going to be very hard to beat this year. All right, thank you. And signing off, we will catch you next week with Tiger Sports Center.